Hi, I'm very excited to bring you another tutorial at LiveLinkTraining.com. My name is Ken Fisher. In this video, we're going to look at a few new features related to the Properties panel. Now, the honest truth is that in previous versions, it wasn't that useful. The words chocolate and fireguard uh, come to mind. But now we can actually do things like resize graphics or images or text. So, OK, let's see how it works. Well, I've got an image open here from a recent film noir photo shoot. And I've just clicked on the background layer. Now, I need to go and open the properties panel. And I can do that by clicking on this little icon here, which is to open up the panel. Or I could go to the window menu and select properties. Now, in previous versions of Photoshop, this would just be blank. But now it's showing some document dimensions for me. Now, let's just open another layer up, make it visible, and we'll target it by clicking on it. And we can see now that we've got the width and the height and the relative position of this logo. Now, if I just hover over any of these items, like the W, you see that it turns to the scrubby slider. And what I could do is just click and drag to make that a little bit smaller. Or I can click and drag inside and type something in. So we'll say we'll try three inch. And that's OK. So I'll just get the move tool, which I've got active. And I'll move that down and just position it in that corner. Now, that's OK for graphics, but what about images? OK, let's just turn on two images I've got in here. And if I select those, let's select those both together. You'll see that the properties panel disappears. There's nothing in it. And this means that we have to do things one at a time. So if I just turn that one off, We'll go back to layer two again. Now you see I can do exactly the same. I can make them bigger or smaller. So let's type in something like, say, well, I'll go for an inch and a half to make that a little bit bigger. I can drag that out the way. And then I can go back to this one, do exactly the same. We'll drag in, we'll say, one and a half inch again. And then we can line those up. And I'm quite happy with that. Now, last and certainly not least, the feature here has to do with typography. So if I just turn on this top layer, which is a text layer, and you can see I've got some text theme film noir. But now in the properties panel, I can actually move its position here by changing the X or the Y value. I can actually decide what type of text that I want and I can click in here and then if I just press the down arrow and the up arrow I can I can go through all the different types of text. If I want to change the size of the text I can do and if I want to change the alignment I can and the colour. Now, if I want to do anything else, like if I wanted to space out the letters or something like that, then there is nothing here to do that. But what we have got is an advanced button. And if I click on the advanced button, what that's going to do is bring up the character panel. And I've now got all this stuff that I can change about that text. So if I wanted to space those letters out a little bit, I'll just get my scrubby slider. Oops, just going the wrong way. And I'll space that text out a little bit and then move it, say, into the middle. And there we have it. So in this latest version of Photoshop, the properties panel is actually a little bit more useful. And my guess is that it's only going to get better. But even now, it's a helpful new feature. So just to recap, there's now more functionality in the properties panel. We can change the size and the position of graphics and images. We can change the properties of text all from within the properties panel. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments underneath the video. If you liked the video, please share it with a friend.
and click the subscribe button so that when I upload a new video, you are the first to know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.